Allison just dropped me off at Rockfish Gap and pointed to the trail. Follows the road for just a little bit. And now we're going uphill. 7.8 miles, Calf Mountain, next on the list. A couple hundred yards up the trail, you get to register your hike, find the uh, permits in here, and attach it to the outside of your pack. Um, hearing going southbound uh, that there, uh, there's a station like this, but it's out of uh, permits. So I'm not quite sure what you do. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Well, I would, I would show it to you, but I can't. I can't even see it myself. I don't know what it was. Something stung me on the back of the head. Just walking along, minding my own business. I had just met a uh, southbound hiker. I'm northbound. Just met a southbound hiker. 10, 15 yards later, bam! Something bit me, stung me. I'm, I'm thinking he may have stirred stirred up a nest of something so I kept going and I can feel there's no stinger in it it just hurts so I got some Benadryl in my first aid kit I don't want to take it yet but if it gets bad I'll take some take one of those Benadryls maybe at lunchtime get the pain to go away if it doesn't stop otherwise it's cool windy 10 degrees Celsius uh, 55 or something, just approximate uh, Fahrenheit. Breezy though today, so I don't think I'm gonna get overheated. All right, so 20 minutes into my hike, my Swedish flag pays off again. A couple southbounders. Um, the woman's uh, father is Swedish. She doesn't speak any Swedish, very little. A couple words here and there. Um, but they uh, checked out my, uh, my sting in the back of my head. Uh, and uh, it's all swollen and stuff, but no stinger. And uh, I couldn't feel anything, but uh, she looked at it, couldn't see it either. So I'm uh, pronounced healthy, I guess. Oh, I'm having a beautiful day, probably making two miles an hour. I need to go at least that. Oh, 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 you saw it too, didn't you? Six across the trail in a blaze. I'm not lost yet. So what's wrong with this picture? Why, I don't know. There's no logs across the trail. I wonder if we can go that way. Or maybe we follow this cute little sign here instead. I'm headed back Sobo, going northbound, came out onto a mowed area, saw a parking lot, and saw a trail, not blazed, uh, that went through this cool little tunnel. So I thought, well, I'll bet the AT goes through this tunnel, but it bothered me. The blazes have been so great so far, and suddenly there were no blazes. But I kept going, came through this cool tunnel, and, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe went 100 yards, like, nah, there's not a single blaze. Yeah, so I brought out far out. Sure enough, I'm uh, actually a little bit west of the AT. So I got to go through that tunnel twice. Pretty cool. And I thought this was the green tunnel. Turns out, no, it's just a tunnel. Here at McCormick Gap, if you're a southbounder, you got no problems. 
head across the, the, the road. You don't have to climb the uh, fence there. You can go around to the left. And then uh, just keep going. You'll see the sign. If you're coming the other way, really cool tunnel goes underneath this bridge. You can barely see the bridge from the road on the top. But there's a cool bridge underneath it. It follows the trail going up that way. Ask me how I know. Break in the green tunnel at Peach Gap. You can't see it, but there's an army of porta potties over there. About 30 yards ago, I stopped and I pulled out my phone to check far out. I just knew I had to be near the trail leading off to Calf Mountain Shelter. And I, I am, happened to see it out of the corner of my eye as I was bringing up far out. Though it is 0 0.3 off the trail. I haven't seen any place that's good for stealth camping though. I just, just met a local guy. He lives in Rockfish Gap and uh, He's expecting me to be alone here, but uh, he is expecting good water flow at all the springs. Apparently we've had uh, lots of rain in this area. So he's 64, just like I am. Uh, when you watch this, I don't know how, I'm gonna, how old I'm gonna be. But today, but as I'm recording, I'm 64. And uh, not too bad. Calf Mountain. I've worn my Crocs around the house and I think they're comfortable and they stay on my feet. But this is the first instance that they're actually being used as camp shoes here at Calf Mountain. So, I'm gonna run over to the privy and see if they really work. I'm going to bet that none of Rick Steves viewers want to see the privy at Calf Mountain Shelter. Looks like I'm going to have company tonight.
it's early morning on day two. I want to show you a bear pole. Everybody hangs their food off of hooks up here. Maybe here's a good one you can see.